YouTube, this is Practice Prepper with a quick tip about how to use your canned pumpkin. Now I'm making a pumpkin pie and I'm using some pumpkin that I canned in this old Newman salsa jar back on 12 of 2016. Uh, now it's just about April, so it's been in here for four months. Took off the lid, popped, using, you know, non-mason jars. It works. Uh, at least it's worked so far for me. But uh, one of the problems that I have when I do uh, pumpkin canning is that you're supposed to put the chunks in there. Oh, careful! You're supposed to put the chunks in there with a lot of the the liquid and fluid uh, that helps them to uh, preserve whatever. Uh, but then when you're using the pumpkin, a lot of times you don't want all that liquid. Like today, careful! Uh, today we're going to make pumpkin pie, uh, and I want to get all that liquid out. Now I'm going to save the liquid down in this pot here to use for soups or whatever. There's a lot of nutrition in there. But I want to get it out of the pumpkin. So what I, I figured out to do was to use a little uh, coffee filter here. Now in the past I'd kind of just tried to squeeze it with my hands and you know just get as much water out as I could or put in a colander uh, and do that. Uh, but you can't really squeeze it like you can in the coffee filter because in a colander the uh, the uh, well, the pumpkin comes out with it. But this seems to be working really great. Now I don't drink coffee. I just have this old coffee filter. So I wouldn't. If you drink coffee, I wouldn't recommend pulling the filter right out of your coffee thing because then you're probably gonna like flavor your co your pumpkin pie like coffee. Uh, I don't I don't know. I just I'd be a little cautious about that. I just want to say that this this is one that is not used for coffee. I just had it kicking around. But this seems to work really great. You kind of just put everything in there. You see, River is pushing down. Oh, don't push down with the point. Don't push down with the point. Push down with the side because you want to be squeezing them, not poking through them. Did you catch that? <laughs> But it's coming right out the sides, it's coming out the bottom, it seems to be working really well. This is the best method I've ever used to, uh, to get this stuff out. So, I just thought I'd share it with you, I just invented it like two minutes ago. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.